What's up everyone? This is Amy from TUC077 and today we're gonna be running the AT&T Galaxy S2. Well, this is the SGH i77 um, thing. So, this should work only on the SGH i777, which is right here. And this is the ICS method, which is 4.0.4. So, we're gonna be rooting it, installing a custom ROM. And hopefully it will work. I won't break the phone. All right. So anyway, so we're gonna be flashing a kernel that will, um, um, op which that will root the phone, so you can flash a custom mod. I'm gonna be also showing you how to install Clockwork Modric, Clockwork Modric, Clockworld Mod Recovery, which is to flash custom ROMs and all these kind of stuff. Anyway, so what you need is. A USB cable, of course. Um, uh, kind of recommend it to keep USB debugging on. Not, not needed, but kind of recommend it. But I, I just won't do it. Um, let's just do it. So yeah, whenever, whenever you wanna do something like that, just make sure it debugging's on. Although we won't use the phone while, while it's on. Anyway, so just leave the phone alone. Let's just put the phone down for a second and let's go on the left on the computer So anyways, you, of course you need a laptop in order to install it So just go to your files go to whatever whatever you put your root file and then you should download the Sia kernel Which is right here the Sia hold on let me put the brightness up so you won't see that So you gotta download the Sia the Sia kernel and the uh, Odin. So what you need to do now is open Odin. Yes. How bad about that? Then after, hold on, let me put it this like that, so you can see better. After that, connect your USB cable into your laptop, and then. Here is your micro micro SD card micro SB S micro USB port. Focus here. So, anyways, connect them. After you connect them, hold down the up and down volume buttons and the power button along for a couple of seconds, and that will be ten seconds probably. Oh wait, let it install the drivers first. Drivers ready to use. All right. Don't don't just clo close Odin, close Odin for now, and then hold down the power up at the volume with the volumes, power and the volume buttons. Just hold them down for like ten seconds until you get this. Hit volume up, then you can you should get download mode. Now open Odin, and then you should you should see com the, the yellow thing. You should see it. Now open the PDA, and then go whatever you put your files in. Now go to I put it in X for my X files. X dot root. Then the AT and T Galaxy S two. And there's the CIA kernel, double click it, and then just all you need to do is start. Done. Almost. Done. Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy. I'm really happy for some reason. Because I was scared. Never be scared of doing those. Trust me. Never be scared. There will be a triangle. Just don't worry about it. Never be scared of doing those. Like... I rooted an Nexus 4 and my heart was beating so fast. Cause like see you had to unlock the bootloader and then I was scared first when I started doing rooting phones and everything because I almost break my vibrant. See I I really bricked it. Um actually I did break brick it and then I used Odin to Odin back to stock and then I redid the root thingy and um it just worked. So now Android is upgrading. Now you could unplug the thing, open it, then go to your apps, then you should see here's Clockwork mod, and that's super user. And then when you go to your settings, hold on. 
you go all the way down and then you see the kernels now let's see a kernel see so anyways let's check clock or mod just put allow download no copy store install apk So right now, I guess that you should have clock remote recovery. Uh, all you need to do is just go to CWM and then go to um, we go into clock remote recovery. If it didn't work, then I'm gonna show you how to get clock remote recovery. It's only been 15 minutes, not much. Here again, don't worry about the triangle. and there you go congratulations if you made it congratulations if you didn't make it and you should make it don't be scared doing that stuff trust me do not be scared at all all right so this was Amy from tlc 77 showing you how to root the at&t galaxy s2 now i know that there's not a lot of videos about rooting this phone because this phone doesn't have much development well i'm gonna show you a couple custom ROMs running on this phone. Well, the first custom ROM will be Showstock. Probably I'm not gonna move from it. Showstock is just like a Galaxy S3. No way, just like a Galaxy S3. Everything from a Galaxy Note 2 and an S3 will be on there. So, right now, let me download the ROM, flash it in front of y'all, then we'll be done. Alright. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, Have a great day, weekend, whenever you're watching me. Oh, like, it's not us yet, it's still me. And see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.